you with the Halima Show, and I'm here with the famous Leon Rainbow. How are you doing today? All right, great. That's good. Well, tell us about the event tonight. Uh, the event is Rock Your Body. Uh, this is the second time that we did it. And uh, this is the first time here at Artworks in Trenton before it was at Maxine's. And basically what we're trying to do is just bring all the different types of artists that we know together and try to, uh, you know, just promote it and have, you know, a great fun event. This is my model, Jeb. Turn to the camera, say hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> and basically, you know, what, what we're doing is a live body painting event. I have a lot of friends who are Graffiti artists, regular artists, models, poets, body painters, videographers, and uh, photographers. And what my idea was is to bring them all together and to have them just come out and rock. Like, yo, just whatever you do, if you're a photographer, just rock. You know what I mean? So that's what we're trying to do today. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do is it's going to be like a sky background and almost like the doors of perception where it's going to have little windows and I'm going to have different uh, energy and different designs flowing from one to the other and it's like within the sky so if you're looking at a window or if you're looking into a window however you want to say it. Is there a message behind that? The style is the message. Okay. <laughs> What's inspired? What is it? What is it you're doing? Flowers and uh -huh. like fabric uh, pieces. Uh -huh. All right. So how long is this taking you to, do, to accomplish this? Like two hours. Wow, really? You can stand in that long, Robert? <laughs> I'm used to posing. Okay. All right, so you model professionally? Yes. Okay. Well, let's turn around. Let's see what you got. Zodiac. Zodiac. It was supposed to be the theme was a month. Uh-huh. Something from the calendar. Right. I think of anything to do. Okay, well, turn around. Let's get a look see. Oh, we're not done with Bob. Go ahead, you can look if you like. So, this represents the sky. Well, this is going to be the side, like the, uh, yeah, like the universe. Right. Okay. And then it's going to be, this is going to be the sun. The okay. back is going to be the moon. And we're going to have the zodiac signs going around. Okay. I guess I started, I started drawing graffiti and graffiti letters at a very young age, like maybe six or seven. And then, you know, I started doing illegal graffiti when I was younger, you know, when I was like 13, 14, and then, you know, I've been doing it more professionally for between five and ten years now. When I was like, you know, a kid and I seen that movie just like everybody, like Star Wars or Beat Street, it just like, right away I was like, oh, look it, they're doing that on the subway. I'm like, oh, I want to do that, you know, and it's just like been like an obsession ever since. I am Native American, so, you know, it has that influence, but it's just like, I, I, I use some of the patterns and some of the designs. Uh, I wouldn't really consider myself, say, a Native American artist, but I'm an artist who is Native American, so that's how it is. What inspired this art? The colors. So, tell me more about it. The colors are hot, and I just wanted to blend them together, and it's rock your body, so. It just went up. <laughs> so how long does something like this take? About two hours. Wow, you stood there for two hours? I'm freezing. <laughs> well, you look gorgeous. You look good. So let's get turn around. Let me look at you. Okay, you right? That's hilarious. Okay, well, thank you so thank much. Thank you. You look like you're cold. <laughs> okay, so how long did it take for this to get done? Oh, maybe about like a half hour, hour. Really? So, yeah. Wow, I think I can pull that one off. <laughs> so, how, what got you involved in body painting? I kind of just showed up just coming with my friends because I didn't really know what it was about and kind of just asked to get painted, so. Okay, all right. So, did she tell you what inspired her to work on you off to this? Yeah, she kind of like, I don't know, she's just a free hander. She kind of likes doing it. She's very creative. I have to give her that much. Beautiful, though. You look good. <laughs> right. It's a tiger face, but it's not a, a full face. It's a fun party look, like a more of a glamour, glamour look. Okay. So maybe enough for Halloween, but not too much for the party. Okay. And you did the cherries as well? Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hi, we're here with Demetrius Young, poet. <laughs> How are you doing today? Good. You look so familiar. 
you go. What brings you out tonight, Demetrius? Well, you know, my buddy is having this show with the body paint and everything. Uh -huh. And pretty much anything that they do, they ask to come to some spoken word. Okay. I don't always feel like it fits the occasion, but, you know, I'll do what I can. So you're going to tear it up? I'm, 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 I'm going to have some fun. I think I'm going to do like two pieces uh, okay. and call it a day. Okay. Are you going to get painted tonight? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> the body's not she there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we look forward to hearing you tonight, and I know you're going to rock us out, okay? My artwork, basically, I do a lot of graffiti-style art, graffiti-style murals. Uh, I've done everything from kids' back, you know, kids' bedrooms to, um, you know, murals in different cities, D.C., you know, New York, Trenton. And, uh, you know, I've done some backgrounds for some rappers, Ice-T, his wife Coco, uh, Bone Crusher, a couple other people, and I've done some work for companies like Louis Vuitton, Staples, and stuff like that. I do a lot of, you know, anything from a sign, sign type work, to murals that kind of incorporate a sign, to, you know, whatever theme, or just freestyle on my own stuff. I guess my imp inspiration a lot comes from just life and the different things, you know, I, I basically kind of start out with like a traditional graffiti thing and then I kind of abstract from there. So a lot of my different ideas, I like to do stuff, uh, word plays and different things like that to kind of keep it like centered in, in words and graffiti, but then also give it a little bit of a twist. Tell me about what, what the inspiration of your artwork. Well, this started out as, uh, it was supposed to be a calendar shoot, so I picked February for my month and I painted Cupid. Okay. And then uh, as he got more models involved, the uh, issue with the different months right. came about, so everybody kind of just painted what they wanted to, but I stuck with the uh, the Cupid design. Wow, you did a great job. Thank you. Check it turn around. <laughs> nice. Well, how do you feel about the circuit? I love it. It's great. Every everybody that sees it says it's great. Cheryl did a great job. Uh -huh. um, we collaborated on some of the art, and we just yeah. we work really well together. Okay. Um, I just love it. It looks great. We're back, and we're gonna just check on the progress of our artwork here. So, how much further do you have? Now realistic, right, Polly? 20 minutes. Okay, can we see what you did so far? What's that? Can we see what you did so far? Uh, so far, just okay. some more shading. Uh-huh. Tried to add some cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to do some eyes. Oh, and I messed up again. Oh, it's crying. You don't know like I just thought of that. Maybe we should look at that. She's crying. She got to see that. the sun with the face, and it's really nice. Huh? And then the moon, I, I did some of the moon. Very good. So I got a... That's a little bit there too, but that's okay. Albus Cavus is a a nonprofit organization that uh, myself and a, a lot of the other local artists work with. And you know what our mission is is to bring public art to the community and you know urban public art to urban community really. And then you know just really get different organizations involved and uh, you know try to be positive and teach people how to do this too. I worked with 21st Century After School Program for five years. Last, at the beginning of this year, our grant ran out, and uh, so now I'm working with the Princeton Arts Council on after school programming. And basically what I do is, you know, I take basic art techniques, I combine them with a little bit of graffiti and street art and things that are currently going on in, in, in our uh, in these genres and just try to teach it to the kids. I try to do a different project that's fun each class so that it doesn't get too repetitive and boring. Right now, believe it or not, I'm working on a little bit of watercolors and I'm starting to kind of get back into the fine art. I've been so busy doing the murals and the different projects and jobs that I haven't really been able to focus on the canvas work, so uh, I'm really trying to get back to that. I'm, Going to Art Basel next week in Miami, and we're gonna paint down there a little bit. But uh, you know, basically, if you really want to know what's up with me, check out my website www.leonrainbow.com. Well, thank you so much, and thank you for joining me at the Halima Show. Until next time. See where I'm from, even the strong die young. It ain't survival of the fittest, it's survival of the illest. And even weak brothers become strong brothers behind Glock triggers who will blast brothers with some cash figures, sometimes killing the wrong brothers. Because even innocent bystanders can be victims of a sick fool on a paper chase. Bullets carry no names and 
killers carry no remorse. Funerals are common and caskets keep getting smaller. Headline reads, Kareem tell a shot dead victim of a random drive-by, but damn, Kareem was just a toddler.